In this video, I'm not only gonna teach you how to use speed ramping in Final Cut Pro, but I'm also gonna show you a couple of creative ways of using it, just like this. So first of all, let's take a look at this shot here that Lewis did, and I'm just gonna play this back in real time. So as you can see, uh, it's a shot that Lewis has done of us making the morning coffee. And if you were to play this back at normal speed like this, it's a little bit dull because it's a little bit long and there's some parts in it which aren't that interesting, there's some parts that are interesting, and you kind of want to use speed ramping to show off the parts that are interesting and sometimes skip past the bits that aren't, and it gives you actually a nice effect. So let's jump in here and I'll show you what I would do and how speed ramping works. So first of all, um, let's just say we want to speed this first section up here where we go, we get the little knife and we pull it out. Now what I would probably do in this area is speed this up. So to get speed ramping working, what you need to do is press Command and R. This will bring up the speed section you can see there in green. And a little tip here before we actually start, you wanna make sure that you record with your camera at the highest frame rate possible. So on an iPhone, you can change it to 60 frames a second. If you're using a camera like our Sony a7S III, you can actually record up to 240 frames in HD or 120 in 4K. So this is um, 100 because we're in PAL on the Sony a7S III. Um, but anyway, let's play this back. You can see we've now got the speed here at the top. And what I wanna do, is get to this point here and slow it down just where we see the kind of pen knife flick up. So what I'm gonna do here is press Shift and B, and this will actually not make a cut in the clip, but it will make a cut in the speed here. And then what we can do is change the speed to anything we want. So you can click this little down arrow just here, and then I might speed that to say maybe eight times. And um, it's going a little bit slow here. Final Cut keeps crashing a little bit because we're screen recording this as well. But you can see now, we now have this blue section here, this kind of gray section, let me just zoom in, and this green, darker green section here, and then to normal. And essentially what this is, this is showing you not only the speed the clip is gonna be going, but also the actual ramp as well. Because what a lot of people will do on YouTube is they'll say just cut the clip and make it eight times the speed, but that's not really a speed ramp. The ramp is actually like a real ramp. You know, it, it starts off at zero and then it inclines to 100%. And this is exactly what we're doing here. So this first clip, we've changed this to 800%. And as I play this through, you'll see it'll play through fast and then it will slow down to the normal speed of 100. You see that? So that was really fast. Let me just play it again. There we go. And with a nice little sound effect, that would look quite nice. Now, the next thing we wanna do um, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more as we go along, but there's a section here where you can see it goes around me. So let's just play this in normal speed. It's quite dull, right, isn't it? You wouldn't wanna include that. So what I would do, what I would recommend, is let's go back around here and let's get to the point where the coffee, uh, sorry, where the camera is about to go behind me. So let's say it's about, about there. I'm gonna do my Shift and B. Oh, make sure you select the clip first. Shift and B. And then I'm actually gonna come round to the section where the coffee machine is in shot again. About, roughly about, about there I think. Select the clip, press Shift and B. Final cut's crashing a little bit again. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed this up eight times. So I'm gonna click on the little down arrow and I'm gonna go fast and I'm gonna hit eight times. So again, what this is gonna do is this is gonna speed up that section where we go around behind my back, speed it up eight times and then slow down as we get to the other side of the machine. Now, before I play that back, you'll probably be wondering what are these little bars here and what do they mean? Well, this is the um, part of Final Cut where it shows you the actual ramp. So if you want the speed ramp to go very slowly into your fast or slow part that you've selected, or very quickly, you would adjust these sliders so you can do just that. So you can see here, 
if I adjust this uh, little slider here, let's just zoom in. Well, that's crashing on me again. Um, we can see here that if I drag this, it's actually changing the speed of the clip. But we want to keep that at 100. So what we're going to do is actually drag these parts here. So you can see there, it's not changing the speed of the clip, but it's changing the ramp. So it will take longer to get to that 800%. And the same with these orange parts here. We can sort of go in and out to essentially adjust that. But anyway, let's uh, play this through and see how this looks. Let's just zoom out. There we go, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Just a quick whip around me. And it's made what would otherwise be quite a boring, lengthy shot around my back. Quite energetic, quite fast paced. So that's pretty cool there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through Final Cut, uh, go through this clip, and let's add a few more speed ramps and see how we can make this look. Another section I'm gonna do here is this part where we go to actually putting the coffee in the machine. And I quite like this because instead of speeding this section up, I'm actually gonna slow this one down. And you can do this if you have recorded at that high frame rate. So again, let's maybe get to the point where we want the slow motion to happen, which I would say is just as the coffee beans start coming out. I'm gonna hit Shift and B again. There we go. And this section I'm gonna play back at normal speed. But again, instead of speeding this section up now, we are gonna slow this one down. And I'm gonna slow it by 50% so we get those beans falling out nice and slowly. So let's play that through, see how it looks. Pretty good, we can actually slow that down a little bit more, I think. So let's slow that down to 25%. Let's speed this bit up here. Let's do it two times. And let's play that through. Okay, so we've made some more edits, but the next thing you wanna do is search for sound effects because sound effects can really change the game when it comes to your shots. Uh, if you add in shots of a coffee machine here, if you add in a bit of music, add some whoosh sound effects, they will just help the journey kind of go along at a much better pace when your viewers are watching this. So make sure to add some sound effects in at the right places and uh, take a look at what we've done. Okay, so that's how you can use speed ramping for a single clip. But what about if you have multiple clips and a project? How can you use speed ramping for that? Well, in this example, I'm gonna show you how you can use speed ramping to improve your transitions. So we've got a few shots here of um, Lucien packing up a buckle and band order. Let's play this little shot here. So we've got him kind of spinning and um, the packaging around the box. Oh, that's going slow again. And then the next shot is kind of a, a, the folding taking place. But I think this would be a good place to actually add a speed ramp transition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just mark out this clip at the point where Lucian just kind of slaps down on the table. So let's just get that to about, I'd say about there, just looking at the waveform, about there. And then I'm gonna maybe start about here. So let's just pull that over a little bit more. So we can still see a bit of the box. And already, it kind of looks all right. But here's a little tip. You can actually use the range tool. So press R on your keyboard. This will create the range tool. And then just drag along your two clips here. And then what you can do is click this little icon here and then change the speed to fast. So I'm gonna do four times. Let's see how that looks. And as you can see, instead of adding a speed ramp to one clip and adding speed, clamp, uh, speed ramping to a second clip, this is gonna add it to both clips. And essentially it's gonna speed up the end of the first one and speed up the start of the second clip. So let's have a look to see how that looks. There we go. So you can see how with a bit of sound effects there, that would look really cool. It's just helped to kind of merge those two clips. There's actually some other shots here, um, a bit further down into the project, which I think will look really good as well where Lucien gets a piece of paper. Here we go, I think we're around here. And pulls it up. Watch this, pulls it out. Holds it up for a few seconds. And it does the same thing from a different angle. So instead of 
having two separate shots, we're actually gonna make this into a single shot using a speed ramping transition. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this at the point, I actually think just about there, where the white paper is just going past the frame. So about there, let's have a look. About there. And then again, let's pull this in to where the paper is kind of in the air. Let's press the range tool again. Let's, and then let's just do this a little bit further along. So maybe there to there. Let's do the speed ramp. Let's speed it up by four times. That might be too much, but let's have a little look. There we go. And look at that. Your, your, your mind has taken so quick to the second shot that it actually looks pretty cool. So let's play it back again. There we go. I think maybe the first shot could be extended a little bit, but um, essentially we're gonna play around with this again. And throughout this video, we're gonna add speed ramping to the video, but we're also gonna add it to some of the transitions. So let's do that now, and then have a look at the final example. So there we go, that's how you can use speed ramping in Final Cut Pro. I hope this quick tutorial helped you, and if it did, let me know in the comments section below. Now, if you're watching this for Final Cut, but you also use Premiere, make sure to check out our other videos on the channel, because we do have a Premiere Pro version of this video as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.